guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Coach Coco and I love volleyball. So much so my channel's full of tips, tricks, hacks, and anything you could ever need about volleyball. So today, I'm gonna talk to you about spot placement. Now, I have to say, I had a player I played with in high school. She was the best spot placer I have ever seen in my life, deadly. She would look right at you and snake eye you and somewhere else. And I thought that was such an effective skill. So I told myself, Coco, you gotta get sweet at spot placement because you can get anybody. Somebody's not paying attention? I'm going for you. Oh, you look like you're doing your nails? I'm going for you. Oh snap, you're over here just not ready? I'm going for you. You wanna be able to have that ability to just go for anybody. So today we're gonna to talk about some drills you can do even when you're at home to learn spot placement. Let's get right into it. Before you start working on spot placement, I highly suggest that you have been able to consistently get your serve. Standing serve, overhand serve, jump serve, any kind of serve that you feel like you're comfortable with before you start moving on spot placement because you have to get it over the net before you start moving it across the net. So if you need to check those tutorials, I'm gonna link them down in the description box below so you can get comfortable. Now with spot placement today, I have two things that you're gonna need. You may not actually need a net, but I'm using my net because I want you guys to see what it looks like when it goes over. I have my volleyball that I got from All Volleyball, and if you want a volleyball like this, you can check the description box below. This is my outdoor ball because my indoor balls are so precious. And I'm using some cones, so let me grab my cones. Now, I'm using some cones. Now, if you don't have any cones like this, this is cool. Remember when I did that video and I used a tub, like a Tupperware tub? You can use that if you're doing it in your backyard and you don't have a net. That is a great substitute, so don't sleep on it. But I'm using these cones. And I'm gonna go put these cones across the net. Now, I don't have enough room across this net exactly to do like a full court, but for the demonstrative purposes of this video, I think you'll get what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna use some color, different color cones. And I'm not gonna highlight all of the volleyball spots, but just ones that I particularly, Coco, need to work on. And those are the short balls. So watch me set these cones up. As you can see, I've set the cones up on the other side, and I did almost every position except for the libero. Because, do you want to serve to the libero? No, you don't. Don't serve to libero. No, no, no. Thank me later. So I'm going to step further back. Like I said, I don't have the court outline. So I'm going to step approximately where I would serve from. And I'm going to show you some things you can do to spot place. I have a ton of volleyballs with me. But before we get into that, the reason why I'm using, letting you, telling you, these bugs are real. The reason why I'm telling you to use some kind of target is because it's easier visually for you to be able to imagine where you're trying to serve versus you just serving randomly to the same spot. You want to hit that target so that way you can see visually the consistency. So I'm going to make sure that I'm going to try to hit the target based on where I'm trying to go. So spot placing is a skill that you have to practice. It is not a one-time thing. It's not like you learn your serve, it's on and off light switch. You have to practice that body language. And overhand serving itself is kind of tricky. So you want to make sure to practice by having those angles correct. So I'm going to start, I'm going to actually start from right here just to give you some demonstration. So, woo, these bugs are touching my face, man. I'm not here for it. I'm overhand serving. I always visually check out the court to see who can I serve to that is most likely going to get me the point. If somebody is not paying attention, girl, I'm coming for you. I want to be able to get the point, get an ace. And for me to do that, I need to get a serve and complete that serve with somebody who either I think isn't gonna be able to receive the serve well, somebody I think is not paying attention, or between two players that I think are gonna bump into each other. It's all predictive strategy. Now, I may, that might be a little bit over the head of some of you all, but I'm putting you on game right now. So, I'm gonna actually try to aim. Let's pretend like you can't see it. That orange cone is not paying attention. So I'm getting my body right. I'm making sure to focus on that serve. And I went and I hit right to her. Now, I, when you ever you're starting to spot place, I want you to visualize that area. I want you to actually 
it may sound kind of strange, but I want you to actually kind of manifest that you're going for that area because it will help you later on when you can actually see that target. Now, when I started learning how to spot place, my coach, what she did was, she would stand physically on the court and go, hey, serve to me, you know? But we can't have that in a game. And sometimes we just have to focus on that player. Now, there are two things that don't work well. If you stare at a player across the court, you know she's gonna know that you're going for her. So don't go going for you. Don't send body signals like, I'm going for you, I'm going for you. But go for them, but not staring so increasingly hard. But you wanna make sure to keep your focus so you're looking at all of the court and you're not just narrow focused in, if that makes any sense. So I'm grabbing another ball. Now my body language, I want my body language to be relaxed. I don't want it to be so overly obvious that I'm going for someone. Now if I'm doing a short serve, the shorter the longer the serve just depends on how hard you're hitting the ball. It's not the same approach every time. If I'm going for a short ball, I'm not gonna put all of my strength into that serve because it's obviously gonna go deep. If I want a short ball, I'm gonna hit the ball a little softer. I can say, Shorter balls are a little bit harder to get because you gotta find that balance of how soft to hit it. Somebody like myself who is so uber strong, it's hard for me to dial back sometimes. So I have to really find that sweet spot. So you really need to find that sweet spot for you of I need to hit 50%, 40%. Make sure to find that sweet spot so you know how to do that. So this is one way I suggest you start working on your spot placing is using cones or visual aids to help you visualize where you're trying to go. So that could be putting cones in your backyard and hitting. That could be having your little brother or little sister say, hey, I'm right here. Don't hit them, don't hit them, y'all. Coco didn't say to do that. I'm just saying use visual aids. That's putting Tupperware buckets out, putting paper plates out in your backyard. Something like that can help you visualize. That way you can start working on serving towards a specific target. Now, what? Like that, I wanna make sure to focus that it's not gonna go so hard over the net. Like that. And this is how I personally practice my short serve. Too deep. Oh, okay. So, do you have a way that you practice your spot placement? If you do, share that down below so others can be able to use and work with that kind of strategy too. Make sure you check out my merch on my store because I have so many cute shirts and I want to see you guys in them. Also, if you need a volleyball or a volleyball net, check out all volleyball, link in the description box. I hope that you like this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.